if you show if you uh, were paying attention, then you know that all three of these books have been signed. I have had several books signed, many of them personalized to me, since the first signed book haul video. That is right, the first signed book haul video. That means that in the near future, we will be doing signed book haul number two. Okay, so what's going on everyone? So I have been teasing this for a few weeks now. I even said when I did the first one of these that there would be a second one. And as promised, I have right here and right here Signed book haul number two. All right, so I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I can tell everyone now there are quite a few. And just like last time, I've got a bottle of water here just to make sure that I make it through this video. All right, so all of the books you are seeing have been purchased, with one exception, have been purchased within the past year. One of them was in my storage container at the time when I was recording the first one, and I simply didn't think about it until after. But we're going to start with the first one that I'm going to show off that this video actually got uploaded before signed book haul number one. So when this one happened, I got asked, hey, why isn't this book in the signed book haul? And the truth was, even though this video came before it was recorded, after. Yeah, just a little behind the scenes thing. Some of the videos that you see actually don't get released in order. Sorry, sometimes it just happens like that. But the first one I am talking about is Killing the Business from the Young Bucks, Matt and Nick Jackson. I bought this last year at Barnes & Noble. It was one of the books they had as a part of their sort of Black Friday thing that they have going on. So, this is available in all bookstores. I just started reading this. It's pretty good. All right, so now we are going to backtrack a little bit. So, this one was released, the, well, the book was released a while back, but I actually had this book signed in the fall of 2019. It was my last event of the year, or my next to last event. And that is The Brotherhood of the Wheel by R.S. Belcher. So I met him at Dragon Festival. We were two tables down, I believe. And there was a part where the vendor area started to lighten up a little bit because they had various activities and stuff at this particular festival, meaning I had time to walk around, get to know some of the other people there, and even buy some stuff myself. And I started talking to this individual specifically because, again, he was two tables down from me. He wanted to talk about some stuff. And I'm looking at his books, and if you saw the first one, and if you've seen some of the other ones, then you know that my favorite author is Neil Gaiman. And what did the Wall Street Journal say about R.S. Belcher? Reminiscent of Neil Gaiman's American Gods. Yeah, that's a bold statement for me. So I asked him, like, hey, uh, which book is it that is reminiscent of it? And then he pointed it out because that quotes on a couple of his books. 
So we talked a little bit. He asked me about some of my projects. I asked him about some of the stuff he could talk about because unlike some of the other publisher or the authors I've talked to, he's actually traditionally published. A lot of indie authors tend to be under a company that works through places like Ingram Spark or KDP, stuff like that. So here is someone two tables down that's actually got his stuff in stores. So there's where he signed in and wished me the best of luck on some projects. Because at the time, this was when I had first started working on what ended up becoming Chaos Fusion. So Artist Belcher, I don't know if you're going to see this, but thank you for the luck because right after that is when I released Lucifer's Lost Love, which was my first best-selling book with me as the sole author. The second of that series was my first number one. All right. So the next one. And... Out of the ones I have here, this is actually one of the only, this only person I've actually worked with directly. And that is Origins of Delusion from N.M. Brown. So she is one of the people in charge over at Nocturnal Sirens. And for those that are unaware, she is also one of the editors for my novella Tales from the Forbidden Forest. So, she had announced right before Christmas, I believe, that she was releasing a book of her own. And there is where she signed it. Also, very good book. I highly recommend it. Great collection right here. All right, so I actually showed these three off all at once in the book, the unboxing video I did. So I'm going to show off all three together right now. And that is A View for My Seat, Blood, Sweat, and Gold, and Metal Queen Models. Volume 2 from Armand Rosamilio. And for those that have not seen that particular video yet, these are two of Armand's older books that recently went out of print. And he said that he had some copies left. And I was like, hey, I'll buy some. And asked him if he'd be cool with me featuring on the channel. And him and I know each other from being in multiple anthologies compiled by Sammy Sands. So he was already familiar with who I am. So he was like, oh yeah, sure, absolutely. So didn't... So there's where he signed a view for my seat. There is Blood, Sweat, and Gold. Armin, I gotta be honest, whenever you start uh, checking this one out, this is the only one I've read at the time because I've been reading a lot of other stuff from some of the stuff that people have sent me. Solid book on this one. And there's where he signed Metal Queen's Volume 2. Alright, so the next one. This is the only person who has appeared in the first signed book haul that will be featured in signed book haul number two. And this is someone I have featured quite a few times on the channel. So no one should really be surprised that I am featuring this individual. And let me get to the, there we go. And that is Half-Blood Dragon by Kate and Lee. 
So there's where she signed the copy of this one. And a while back, I did get asked about, like, why I never did a review or anything for this one. So, I actually bought this book, and I have the second of the this particular series. I don't know if I have the third one. There's already reviews up on Amazon for both book one and book two. Both of them are amazing. You should definitely check them out. But at the time... She had announced that she had a couple copies on hand and that she would sign them for anyone that wanted to buy them. And I said, yes, please. I'm trying to save two of them for last, but these two were actually more... I was trying to save these for the ending and do the whole clickbait thing. But I also want to keep this in as much order as I can. So, the next one is the only comic book on here. And there's actually a little bit of affiliation between this individual and one of the other autographed books I have. And that is the Thunder Rosa comic book. So, for anyone that is wondering... She is currently wrestling for AEW, which has the two members of the executive vice president being Matt and Nick Jackson. So there's a little bit of connection there for anyone that doesn't watch any wrestling stuff. So there's where she signed the comic book and at one point in time this was actually my most viewed video on the channel so i don't know who all shared it but much appreciated to everyone that shared the video where i showed off the thunder rosa comic book because i always appreciate the additional views that i get on each of the videos. Alright, so the next one I actually ended up finding by chance and not only was I able to find it, I was able to get it on sale. I'm very behind on my reading because I thought I would have this read by now and I really should have because it is not that long of a book. And that is Rust in Peace from Dave Mustang. He is the front man of Megadeth for anyone that is wondering and little known fact he was also once in Metallica. So Here's how big of a deal this one is. This, of all the books I have, has a certificate of authenticity. Not often you get one of those in one of these videos. And there is where he signed it. certificate of authenticity back in there so yeah i am very much hoping to read this soon but at the time of me recording this i already know i've got some books i'm going to be buying for another video so it could go one of two different ways all right so this one i decided to do in order so the first one you saw was the young bucks book where I actually bought that one almost immediately after doing the first signed book haul. And I probably could have re-recorded that video and feature Killing the Business, 
But at the time, I didn't realize I was also going to be getting books from Dave Mustaine and a comic book from Thunder Rosa. I was saving that one because I thought that would be the big clickbait one that I could use just like I did with the first one when I had American Gods in there. And initially, I was going to save those for last. Because that's what you do with these things. It's always, you got to build it up and show everyone at the very end to make sure everyone's watching the whole time. And I very much wanted to do that. I'm just going to be honest with everyone. I consider doing it. But at the same time, I also already had the idea that I would save the ones for last that I was going to save for last. And unlike signed book call number one all the books i've shown off with one exception everyone is seen in a video at some point in time so last time i was able to do that and it made sense because no one knew what signed books i had no one knew that i've met so many different authors over the years and this go around some of these it's a little more transparent than it was before. So it was like, all right, I, I'm not gonna do that. All right, so my final event of 2021 was at the Fredericksburg Independent Book Festival. This is one of the events I signed up for in 2020, which didn't happen for very obvious reasons. And when I went there, I ended up meeting someone that was in, that's worked for one of the same publishers I've worked for. I got to reconnect with someone that I'd met at a previous event. And I got to meet some other people for the first time ever, which, so I got a combination of everything on this one. So that was really cool. So we've got Ever Avalon and yes I still need to read the book so sorry uh, he was at the table right across from me I believe so when I had an opportunity to just walk around and check stuff out that was one of the tables I went to because it was one of the closest ones. We So the Fredericksburg Independent Book Festival was on a street that was closed down for people to just walk through and come to our tables and check things out. So when I go to stuff like this and I walk around, I either have someone with me or I make sure I can still see my table. And this time around, I ended up going by myself because it was a shorter event compared to other ones I've been to. And... It was also something where I had to kind of make sure I could still see my table in case someone stops by, wants to talk, wants to buy a book, wants to check stuff out, wants to know more stuff, wants... It could be anything. So this is one of the tables I got to go to. I am hoping to read this soon. Of course, I feel like I say that with every single book, but I am looking forward to checking this one out. All right, so the next one. This is someone that is Northern Wolf from Daniel Green. Now, if you saw the video when I went to the Fredericksburg Independent Book Festival, he is one of the two authors that I got to feature on in the video where he talked about some of the stuff. Uh, him and I met previously at... All-Star Comic-Con in 2019. Unfortunately, at that one, I didn't really do well. So when I was walking around checking stuff out, I really didn't get to buy a lot of stuff because I didn't do well. Simple as that. If I don't do well, I'm not going to go out and spend my money on a lot of stuff because I got to be able to count my losses at the end of the day. Fast forward two years later, I'm able to meet him again. Since then, he's won several awards for some of his stuff. Daniel, if you're watching this, congratulations on those. 
and was able to catch up with him. We talked for a little bit, and this time around, I'd done pretty well. So I was like, hey, I told you last time I saw you I was going to buy a book, and I didn't, I didn't do too well at All-Star. This time around, I've done pretty well. I'm going to go over to my table, I'm going to get some cash, and I'm going to come back and buy one of your books. He was like, hey, just bring something over and let's do a swap. So this was the book that I got from him, and I gave him a copy of Tales from the Forbidden Forest. And even when he signed it, look, great to see you again. All right, and finally, when I first got to the Fredericksburg Independent Book Festival, I'm starting to set up my stuff, and the person at the table right next to me, hey, that logo looks familiar. Now, I normally tend to wear shirts with my logo on them when I'm out, you know, trying to do my best to promote everything. And she was actually talking about the Black Hair Press books. Obviously, for anyone that's watched the channel, then you already know I owe a lot of my success to Black Hair Press. I've been in 14 anthologies from them. I have had quite a few things featured on not only this channel, but some of the travels that I have written for Black Hair Press is also available on my second channel. So I have them to thank for part of the some of the content that all of you get to see. So we started talking a little bit. I told her which books I was in. She told me which books she was in. Again, if anyone saw the vlog video for Fredericksburg Independent Book Festival, I will have the comment, I will have a pinned comment down below with some of the videos. For some of these, there's a word count with the description, so I can only show off but so much with each of these. So, I bought Bones, one of the 500 word fiction books, from Gabby Gilliam. And... I also found out not too long ago that she actually knows another one of my writing friends, Chris. I will have some of his stuff in the description as well. So it was cool not only getting to meet someone that has also worked for one of the same publishers that I've worked with, but someone who also knows one of my personal friends as far as the writing world goes. So it kind of shows you how cool it is when you get to meet other people and get to connect with them. And Gabby, I, whenever you watch this, I did read your story last night. It was really, really good. I remember you telling me about one of the other things you got in the work. So I am definitely looking forward to checking it out. So I have quite a few here this time around. So we got Young Bucks, R.S. Belcher, N.M. Brown, Thunder Rosa, Dave Mustaine, Let me try to get these in an order. Armand Rosamilia. Got Mark. We got KM Lee. Daniel Green, and we've got Gabby Gilliam. 
So this time around, it is a little bit more authors this go around, and it is even a little bit more of a range compared to the previous one, where I just showed off a couple different people that I've met at festivals. Now you've actually got some more, a little bit more variety. You've got some of the people I've gotten to meet in person, some of the people that I have yet to meet in person. And I think we can all admit, this is a pretty impressive stack when you think about it. And to everyone that is featured in this video, thank you very much for letting me feature your books. It is always an honor to be able to feature so many talented writers and some people that hopefully I get to share with everyone that is watching this video. I can't have every single link in the description below, like I mentioned earlier. There is a word count on the description. So I'm going to try and have the purchase link for all of the books that are available because I know the books I have from Armand are out of print and I'm not sure if Thunder Rosa is still selling this particular issue of her comic. So I will try to have purchase links where I can if I don't have purchase links, I will have social media links where you can check everyone out. So unlike last time, the next video that comes up is most likely not going to be a signed book haul or something where I'm buying a signed book like it was last year when I did signed book haul number one and then I featured an autographed book from the Young Bucks. So that won't happen this time around. But that is going to do it for this one. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like what you see, leave a thumbs up. Comment down below if you want to get any of the books that I am showing off. Or if you have some signed books of your own, tell me what signed books you've got from various authors. Be it someone very, very well known, like where I've got... Something from Dave Mustaine and the Young Bucks, or even with the first one where I had Neil Gaiman. Or it could be someone who's just now releasing their first book. Whatever you have, comment down below what you have from various authors, what side of books you got. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you all for watching, and I will catch you on the next one. Ooh.